Hi Scorpio, it's Ascension Empress here with your mid-month reading. Thank you all so much for visiting my channel. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I want to thank you all so much to those who have subscribed, liked, shared, commented, everything. I really appreciate it. And I will be using the Right Away Tarot deck for this reading. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, first we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Wands. So, I get that some of you all are really just meditating right now when it comes to a direction that you're wanting to go in. And, you know, before I started your reading, I actually got that you and Leo are... You know, you have some type of connection going on for some of you. And, you know, we just have the Six of Swords, this Page of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Seven of Swords pop out at the bottom of your reading. So, definitely um, some swift communication about moving forward, um, a renewal of a connection, some of you are like really doing this in silence as well. You know, some, some people may be offering you um, opportunity or an idea about which way you should move, but I don't really get you all interested. You know, some of you already know which way you want to go. So maybe that's why you're really, you know, taking on this seven of swords energy. Like, no, I'm going to go this way and not really tell anyone. Um, but whatever it is you're moving towards, I get that it's, it's a positive direction, you know, with this page of swords, you could be dealing with a Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, um, you know, moving forward with that. And you could be contemplating a direction with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You know, Leos are really moving forward right now, I know. Especially with this full moon in Leo coming up and around the 20th to 21st of the month. Let's see. Wow, yeah. So we have the Ace of Swords. You are definitely very clear about which way you want to go. You know, you could be communicating this as well. So, wow, yep. You have the Three of Swords, the Ace of Wands. And the seven of wands. So, you know, you could be, this is something you're passionate about and you're defending your, you're defending your position, you know, what you believe in standing your ground. And this could be, you know, hurting a few people, but I really get that's not really too much of your concern. And maybe, you know, you moving in silence is what's hurting people with this three of swords and seven of swords here you know you could be dealing with someone who had cheated and you really let them know how you feel especially with this ace of wands here you know somebody probably couldn't keep it in their pants or keep their legs closed and you're like i'm gone you know and whatever it is they're offering you whatever excuses they're offering you don't want it you don't want it. So now you're looking, okay, what what direction do I need to go in? And either direction that you choose is going to be right for you, I get. And you're going to be moving forward peacefully. Wow, we have the four of swords, definitely. Really, I guess some of you all contemplated this already. It's like you kind of had an inner knowing that Something like this was going to happen or some disappointment was going to come to surface. Um, I think the Seven of Swords popped up in y'all monthly reading, too. When it came to a Aries, well, you're a Sagittarius. And, you know, some of you probably had two options. And you were just waiting for that one option to mess up. And, you know, you just let it happen. Wow. You got fire energy strong in this reading. So the King of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. This could have been a marital situation. Could have been dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, or someone in your family 
I'm getting, you know, maybe long term as well. Let's see. Wow. We have the King of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Six of Wands. That is beautiful, Scorpio. That is beautiful. You're really just sitting cool, calm, and collected with this King of Cups here. And focusing on your emotional and financial stability really having faith and this faith is what has you you know in this victorious state you know and some of you are getting recognition for being able to stay so unbothered scorpios y'all are good at staying unbothered i'm just like how <laughs> How can, you guys can go through so much, you know, and that's probably what this four of cups here is at the beginning of the reading. Just being like, no, you're not about to it's, burst my little bubble. <laughs> wow. And you have the queen of pentacles. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Um, but I get for some of you. You are really focused on your stability right now. You know, what makes you feel stable emotionally, financially, physically, just spiritually in every aspect. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is, you know, grounded energy. You could be a man or a woman, but I just get that you're embodying so much right now. And either way, because, you know, you're really standing up for yourself and what you believe in and what you're passionate about, uh, whether it's career, you know, a love situation, um, what is or what's not going to fly with you, you're going to come out victorious because you have faith and you're taking that leap of faith. And I don't get that you're taking um, a foolish risk, even though the fool is here, because you're really weighing your options with this two of pentacles. Definitely. This is beautiful, Scorpio. Wow. And you have the star in the three of wands. So, wow, Scorpio. You are really, this decision that you're making is going to bring so much peace and healing. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Now, I don't know. Did, I think the star popped up in your last reading, too. But you're really focused on the long term right now. That short term, you know, mindset that some of you may have had in the past it's like it doesn't serve me it's temporary you want something long lasting and something that is going to fulfill your wishes especially with the star card here let's clarify this king of wands and ten of pentacles in the past oh yeah you have the king of swords and the five of wands so definitely could have been some lies um fighting a lot of arguing manipulation um, deception in the past as it relates to you know family and friends uh, or maybe a significant other but you, you that's not your focus I, I feel a lot of you left that in 2018 but either way the second half of the month you know you're really focused on that coin right now and whatever else that makes you feel secure with this Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune here. Wow. And you have the lovers. So, like I said, some of y'all probably had, you know, someone else in mind. And was trying to give somebody one more chance and they messed it up. Or something came to light and they weren't honest. Especially with this King of Swords and this Five of Wands here. You know, I don't do reversals. But if he was reversed, we know, we know how the King of Swords can be. Mm -hmm. options <laughs> you have the seven of cups so you know you could be dealing with the gemini and like i said an aquarius with the star card here i just get that you all are just moving forward very peacefully and mindfully and i'm really happy for you all scorpio you know check out the leo reading I, they got some they got a lot of moving forward as well too so you know if you have leo in your chart or you're cross watching definitely but 
I just see a lot of renewal here. You know, this Ace of Cups, the Star card, you know, the King of Cups, you sitting in your power, just really feeling balanced. And the Six of Wands, you know, you're moving forward victoriously and your hard work, your intentions is not going unnoticed, Scorpio. So, you know, stay blessed. Peace and blessings for this, the rest of the month for 2019. And I will see you all for the month of February. Take care. Bye.